हेलो क्लास सेवन लेट स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर इन ज्योग्राफी व्हिच इज चैप्टर वन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ज्योग्राफिकल फीचर्स वी नीड द हेल्प ऑफ द मैप्स व्हिच आर द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव टूल टू लर्न अबाउट द वर्ल्ड थ्रू मैप वी लर्न अबाउट द वर्ल्ड एवरी मैप टेल्स अ स्टोरी एवरी मैप टेल्स अ स्टोरी a person can read the story provided he knows the language of the map if you know the language of map then only you will understand what is given on map okay distance and the title directions you have to learn all these things all these elements as you have learned in the previous class there are various types of map there are various types of map depending upon the purpose of study the map can be broadly classified as physical political and thematic map physical features map which tell which provide physical features they will be called physical map boundaries countries bord borders they or if a map is showing all these things it means map will be political map and the thematic map like soils vegetation types crop weather conditions industries generally there are two types of maps there are two types of two types of maps scale wise okay scale wise there are two types of maps large scale maps and small scale maps large scale and small scale map okay large scale map it doesn't mean if we are giving information if we are showing a large area of map it means it will be large scale map no this is not correct large scale map maps are that type of maps those provide large amount of information about a small area large amount of details about a small area they are called large scale map okay while small scale map small scale maps are those which provide large small amount of detail about a large area like world map world map when you see world map you can say it's a large scale map no it's not a large scale map world map is a small scale map because it is giving information about a very less information we will get okay but area is what area is large it means a city guide map a city guide map is a large scale map because it is providing a large information about a small area that you understood topographical maps are large scale map okay different types of symbols signs and colors are used to understand the map okay different colors they tell they tell a different story you can say and symbols signs are used scales scale play an important role to understand to read a map scale what is a scale a scale is a ratio between a between a distance on map and distance on ground 
कलर्स प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल टू अंडरस्टैंड अ मैप लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज ब्लू कलर ब्लू कलर इट मीन वेन यू सी ब्लू कलर ऑन टॉप टोपोग्राफिकल मैप इट मीन्स इट रिप्रेजेंट वॉटर बॉडीज डार्क कलर मीन्स डीप एंड द लाइट ब्लू रिप्रेजेंट द लेसर डेथ ऑफ वॉटर बॉडीज ओके ब्लू कलर वॉटर बॉडीज ब्लू मीन्स वॉटर बॉडीज नेक्स्ट वन इज ग्रीन 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 रिप्रेजेंट वॉट ग्रीन रिप्रेजेंट फॉरेस्ट ऑर्चर्ड श्रब्स ग्रास लैंड ट्रीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर फॉर शोइंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी यूज वॉट ग्रीन कलर ब्राउन कलर ब्राउन कलर brown color for showing elevated uh landform like mountain ranges highlands sand, sand dunes stony waterland all these things are shown with brown color red color red color settlements red colors are used red color is used to show settlements man made features like roads and tracks it is also used to show grid lines and their numbering grid line the parallels of latitudes the parallels of latitudes and lines of longitudes form a network on a globe form a network on a globe which is called what grid okay now yellow color yellow color is used to show agricultural field okay cultivable lands are shown with yellow color and black color black color black color is used to show longitudes boundaries heights railway lines telephone lines embankment embankment means amount to shut in water okay amount to shut in water that is embankment boundary type broken ground dry streams tanks ca canals and sometimes contour also are shown with black colors okay this is topographical topographic map this is topographic map these are called and these lines you can see can you see these lines are contour lines contour lines are imaginary lines drawn on a map connecting points connecting points see connecting points of same elevation elevation means height above the mean sea level two points in an area having elevation of say 100 meter each will be the same contour will be the same contour it means their height will be same the contours help to visualize the relief whether the region is flat or rugged rugged means rough these are some signs and symbols see plot gauge this symbol is used meter gauge this and railway station is shown with this okay railway line for showing roads metal road metal roads are shown with this and unmetalled with this symbol boundary international boundary state boundary 
district boundary river well tank canal and bridge this is the symbol of bridge temple church mosque and chhatri post office police station pu post office ps police station settlements graveyard graveyards are shown with this trees grass they are shown with these symbols on topographical maps next topic is scale scale what is a scale a scale is a ratio between distance on map and distance on graph a scale is a ratio of that like 1 km 1 km on is on ground is equal to 1 cm or 1 mm on map they are given on map like one more example 1 cm is equal to 10 km it means you have to understand this 1 cm on map 1 cm on map is equal to 10 km on ground okay this is called scale scale ratio between distance on ground and distance on map i will be telling you i'll be uh, make you understand more about scale in next video okay that's all for the day we will continue this chapter in next week thank you